Uh, I think uh, th it was the two things I would like to say why, why I think the rice crisis was unique in 2008. Uh, there was no actual shortage of rice uh, in, at the same time the prices were rising in 2008. And if you, if you look at the, the global stock level in 2008, actually the globally the stock level went up at the same time the prices were going up and went up to 300%. Uh, the second uniqueness I would say is that uh, the, the how, how, how rapidly it spread to other part of the world. The crisis which started in, in Asia uh, was felt as far as in, in the US and Canada. Uh, if you remember, uh, the many retail chain outlets in US and Canada, uh, such as Walmart and Sam's Club, they had to restrict the number of bag, rice bags the consumers can buy. Uh, during the crisis period, so so the, in that way it was unique, uh, and it gave us an uh, idea the how uh, how well the global economies are integrated. Uh, the government should realize that uh, this, the crisis happened because it has been neglected. The agricultural sector has been neglected for a long time, so it's a, it's the outcome of things we have been doing for large, for many many number of many years. Since since the since the green revolution, I think the most importantly the government should invest in infrastructure development, uh, such as investing in irrigations, investing in in rural roads, investing in market access. So so overall investing in agricultural research. In, uh, we should learn from what happened in the during the last crisis. As I indicated earlier, one of the primary driver of the last crisis was the the way the country reacted. Uh, like putting export restrictions, uh, the importing countries uh, scrambling to stockpile. I think th I think there there has to be some mechanism where the uh, has to be in place so that the country does not act hastily, or uh, in impulse uh, to 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 impose any sort of reaction, any sort of restriction. We have already seen that uh, this type of restriction are not very effective. Uh, in a sense, if you look around the retail prices in in many rice producing and consuming countries since the crisis and uh, let's let's take an example of india and philippines the philippines is the largest importer of rice and india is second largest exporter of rice and when the crisis broke out india put export ban and the idea was to keep the rice at home so that the domestic prices remain low but if you compare the retail price level both at india and and, and philippines since the crisis broke out in terms of percentage increase, uh, increase in prices, the prices in India actually increase more than in the Philippines. So, in, in a sense, the India, Indian policy, the Indian reaction to the crisis was not very effective, uh, the way they reacted. So, I think that's very important that the country should not close border uh, when any such crisis, any such shortfall. I think that kind of aggravates the situation, what, uh, what otherwise it would have been. In, in, from my perspective, uh, the globally there was no shortage of rice when when the 2008 rice crisis happened it's the, everything was uh, was worsened because the way the country acted it so i think there should be some mechanism so that the rice flows between country even during the during the crisis period that will make things much better